know, I often think back to the decision to join you and I, and again, back to the family and the representation. When I arrived on campus, I remember meeting some of the other freshmen in Campbell Dormitory, which at the time was an all-girl dorm. Lots have changed. And they asked me what club I played for or what ASA team I was affiliated with, and I thought to myself, gosh, I, I didn't do any of that stuff. My parents believed in hard work and dedication, and they put a pitching machine and a batting cage in a, in a shed in our, our farm, and we, we did a lot of hard work and dedication out there. Um, in fact, the running joke was that I wouldn't leave the batting cage until I had had one more good hit, and that kept happening one more time, one more time. So we've spent many hours out there, and I appreciate that. You know, I think back to the high school athletics, and we, it's mentioned here several times today that athletics teaches you a lot of life lessons, leadership qualities, um, and marrying into a coaching family with the McCowans, you know, you reflect back and really take time to appreciate how much those individuals were role models in our lives. And it's very important that we recognize that we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for our high school coaches as well. And being back home, you know, I've had an opportunity to be part of the university again. You know, when uh, I was asked to be part of a panel talking to student athletes and how we transition from the playing field or the court into the working world. And it takes a, a different type of intensity to be part of the working world, but it's the same amount of intensity and leadership qualities that we've learned throughout our athletic careers. And it's very important that we recognize how blessed we are with the experiences that we've had at this great university. I appreciate all the relationships. You know, we were talking last night about how we used to have to share practice time in the dome and we'd wave at the baseball players at the other end and wait for the basketball team to get off the court before we could do it. And it's just so wonderful to come to the facilities now and, and see what, what has grown here. And a lot of it's because of everything that we've talked about earlier. So what a great opportunity. I'm so honored to be part of this Hall of Fame inductee class and appreciate everything that everyone has contributed. Thank you.